Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to welcome back Teddy Abrams, the music director for the Brit Classical Festival. Teddy, good to see you again. How are you? Great to be here. Doing welcome wonderful. back to Southern Oregon. Thank you so much. It's, it's beautiful. It's good to have you. I know back back from Louisville, Kentucky. So the the season begins a week from tomorrow, is it? That's right. Yeah, we are gearing up in our final preparation, and the entire orchestra is going to get here over the weekend for our first rehearsal on Monday. Very nice. So what are you most excited about for this, your second season at Brit? This season really takes all the energy and all the, the I think, the creative energy that we, we put into last season and just blows it up much bigger. This is, as we're calling it, our epic season. This is the largest number of musicians the Brit Festival has ever brought to this region. There are something like 130 musicians that are going to be on stage during the festival. Wow. That's huge. We're playing some of the, the largest scale repertoire, some of the most kind of gargantuan, large form pieces and, and real masterpieces, uh, including the, uh, the very famous, the world famous Rite of Spring of Igor Stravinsky, the first time that the Brit Festival has ever undertaken this piece. And that's because it's huge. And I thought it was about time. And that kind of sets the tone for all all the, the programs, which all have these huge stories and uh, and, and really take on the, the full potential, I think, of the festival. Oh, that's so, so exciting. And obviously, you're the festival director, but you're, of course, the conductor as well. How do you attempt to balance all of these job duties as well as balancing uh, everything else that, that happens at Brit during the festival every summer? Well, one of the things that we've been thinking about is that Brit is a very, very special organization. The orchestra that comes here is unique. There's nothing really like it on the West Coast. A, a venue as beautiful as Brit, an outdoor venue with its own orchestra. I mean, this orchestra really belongs to the region. These people wait all year to come here and make music together. That makes this incredibly special. There are also world-class musicians. So we've got this incredible high quality of music making. We've got the beautiful setting, and I want to tell that story to the entire country, maybe even beyond, and certainly the West Coast. So when I program the music that we all play, I think about what do the audiences here really need? What's energizing? What's going to get people really excited about their orchestra? But also, what is the rest of the world going to look at and say, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're doing that there. That is adventurous. That's creative. We have to go there. So I want to use the Brit Orchestra actually as a way of telling the story of this region and, and really putting uh, I think not only Brit, but but our entire community on on that international map. So exciting! So glad to have you back. Very good. We're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more in a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with Teddy Abrams, the music director of the Brit Classical Festival. So, Teddy, it's it's season two for you in this orchestra. What makes this orchestra so special? Well, one of the things I like to tell everybody is that the Brit Orchestra is a group of some of the highest quality top-level professional musicians. They audition for their spots from around the world. And when they get them, they go through a very rigorous process, eventually getting tenure, and they can stay here pretty much forever. Uh, and they wait for this three-week festival all year. They see Southern Oregon as their, as their home or their second home, and they love the community. And so when they come together on Monday for the very first rehearsal, they won't have played together uh, as the Brit Orchestra since last year. Yeah. And so I've put together, I think, the first week is one of the, the most difficult programs I've ever conducted. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, what was I thinking? <laughs> but I thought, you know, that we should be doing the things that are hard, right? We should be doing the things sure, that keep push pushing. us. Yeah, that challenge us, challenge our audiences, challenge us as musicians. Those are the concerts that you remember for being extraordinary, for being exciting, for, for being something that, that opens your mind up about what music can be. And so we are putting together, I think, you know, some, some pieces that are, are famous for being challenging. One of the things I'm very excited about this season are the number of premieres or pieces by living composers. And not just any living composers, but living composers who will be joining us. Mm. John Adams, one of the, the most famous living uh, musicians, I would say, is coming to Brit to hear his piece that we're playing on the second performance wow. uh, of the season, along with his son, who's also a, a, an extraordinary, very talented composer uh, named Sam Adams. Mason Bates, he's the resident composer at the Kennedy Center and formerly with the Chicago Symphony from the Bay Area, too, is coming up to not only hear his piece, and this is in the third week of the festival, but participate. He's actually a DJ, which is part of the, the, the work. It's a brilliant piece of music. Wow. I've written uh, a piece, co-written a 
piece with a couple other musicians who come from lots of different genres, like folk and Scottish fiddling and Americana fiddling and bluegrass. Huh. And we created a, a, an all new song cycle. So there's all this creative energy going on to, to make this festival special. This is not something you could find anywhere else. Wow, it's so exciting. It's so good to have you here. Congratulations on all your success. Looking forward to another spectacular season. Thank you very much for having me. Right, our pleasure. Stay with us. We'll be right back.